Hey there, welcome to another Deviant Fun Flash Review and today we bring you an epic collection from Conan, Conan Chronicles. This is uh, Conan's uh, epic collection volume 5. This would mean the years 2010 to 2012 with Roy Thomas and Brian Wood uh, in the writing and Hawthorne, Panosian and Clunan, I think, uh, in the... Um, in the in the pencils uh, yeah Clunan and also James Aaron uh, in the pencils so this includes uh, the, the the book is named Aura's Beneath the Stones and it includes all of this uh, that you see here so Conan Road of Kings from 1 to to 10 10 tw 12 and then Conan the Barbarian from number one to number six. That's that's all you you'll get here. So we've got two two writers uh, that love Norse mythology. Uh, Brian Wood is known for that. Uh, so when you compare this to Volume One, you can see well there's ages between the t the two books, right? Uh, and I'm talking about um, the first Conan, the original Marvel Marvel Years epic collection that you can see a video on our on our channel uh, with a review on it. So the artwork is incredibly different. This is way more modern, uh, more modern colors, more modern drawings. Uh, you can like it better or worse, but it's different. Let's just say it. Um, so the book starts, uh, and if you're wondering if you need to read everything that's before to understand it, well, no, because if you've read Conan, Conan before, uh, you know that uh, it jumps from one adventure to another, and they typically uh, have, a, have an ending uh, in a few pages, so it's relatively short stories normally. Um, so at the beginning of the book, the only thing we don't know is who, who is this beautiful girl that's sailing with him and why the hell is Conan uh, piloting a ship and being a captain. That's, that's unheard of for a barbarian that loves a horse uh, within, within his legs. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> And yeah, we we understand briefly that he rescued her from somewhere, but that's the only reference that you might uh, want to have had before reading this. Why is he, he uh, kept captaining a, a sail, and where did he get Olivia? There's some 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 uh, uh, history on that, especially on Olivia's uh, origin. But you don't actually know uh, how uh, things went. So he's uh, he's sailing with a with a crew. They're they're uh, basically pirating pirating uh, pirating the the seas and getting what they can from from boats until they get a, a trap. They get into a trap. Uh, their boat is wrecked. And Conan, uh, along with Olivia that he rescues, uh, are, are brought into shore, and only one of their comrades uh, escapes with him. So uh, Conan does uh, intend to return Olivia to his father because she has been. Well, she was expelled from, from her kingdom, her father didn't want her anymore, but uh, she has, has had some dreams where her father beckons her to return to him, so uh, she's very fixated on that. Conan doesn't really want to, but ends up uh, agreeing, but on the other side, his fellow uh, burglar wants him to do some heists with him before they leave the, the city. And so here comes the first adventure, the first monstrous creature, uh, the first hassle that Conan has to deal with. You know the drill. It normally involves uh, demonic creatures, or at least uh, very large ones, not necessarily demonic. Um, yeah, and so I won't 
talk about all the stories here, of course. Mm -hmm. I'm just leafing through and, and giving you some thoughts. But eventually, Conan, as a big adventure, trying to return uh, Olivia um, in, in the wild, in one of his failed heists, he crosses, he crosses uh, the path of a powerful guy who didn't like um, didn't like his treasury to be assaulted, so he hires some mercenary to kill Conan. But Conan uh, actually, uh, the situation actually uh, turns them into body fighters for a while, uh, because as soon as they part, the guy tells him, I'm coming back for you, and next time I'll kill you. And he does return, but, and Conan, uh, well, you, you, you get the sense that this guy is a enough fighter, if not superior fighter than Conan, so there's some tension there, Ooh, what will this guy do to Conan? It turns out Conan ends up beating him almost without fighting, using his cunning, his cunningry, uh, well, Conan is known for that. He doesn't just use sword and brute force, right? He most, he many times uses uh, 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 his brain <laughs> and uses uses tactics that do not necessarily invo involve involve fighting. So uh, later on, on another adventure. Uh, where he finds himself in, a, in the company of a brigade that he doesn't know the purposes, they have secret purposes, but he ends up in catacombs where more terrifying creatures appear, and then zombie-like creatures too, so they have to deal with it. Here they are, they have to deal with all of that. Yeah, but yeah, he, manage it. he manages it, yeah? otherwise the book would, wouldn't be as thick. If he he hadn't, <laughs> uh, yeah. So that's that's all I need to tell you. Uh, these are adventures, adventures, and uh, Conan dealing with it, uh, getting uh, armored up for fighting, uh, dealing with uh, with with uh, thieves, treachery, lots of treachery. Uh, just like he's used to, but he's no, he's no fool. He doesn't get, he doesn't get wrong easily. So we're getting to the end of the book because I'm accelerating the leaf through. That's a beautiful woman there. It looks dangerous because she's so pale. Is she even alive? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, that's all I wanted to show you. A little bit of the of the artwork. Uh, just talking about some of the adventures uh, that are here. Uh, yeah, it's it has everything you expect from Conan, right? Especially you know it's Roy Thomas uh, writing it, so you get you get uh, uh, core Conan, let's say uh, classical Conan. Conan. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, love the artwork. It's very different from from the original years, but. Uh, very good, very colorful. Uh, the fight scenes are great. Uh, the ways that Conan finds to manage himself out of the skirmishes, there are some well thought moments and uh, unexpected things. Lots of characters. He keeps getting new companions, uh, new menaces. Uh, is involved in in uh, in in. Um, in settings that he doesn't fully know, uh, so he gets surprised a lot and, and manages to escape. So that's it. If you like adventure, yeah, this is a huge recommendation, of course. Uh, Marvel Conan Chronicles Horrors Beneath the Stones, Volume 5. And that's it, folks. So you know the drill. Stay safe, stay well. Uh, look for our next video because we're constantly putting out new content. Visit us at deviantfun.biz where you can buy this and many, many other books. And please uh, like the video if you liked it. And please subscribe. Help us, help us uh, reach 1,000 subscribers so we can start live streaming uh, instead of re pre-recording. It will be, I think, f uh, a lot more interesting for you. Um, uh, seeing this live and being able to, to talk with us. 
so until then uh, there's always our Facebook page and our Instagram account also uh, where which are very lively too so uh, until the next video uh, uh, bye bye